Hello, my name is Charles Ardinger, and I'll be working with you this semester as the instructor in your English 100 class. I'm making this uh, brief video presentation as a way to introduce myself to you, to tell you a little bit about myself, and to tell you a little bit about the class that we'll be working in together. Uh, there are some aspects that I want to familiarize you with that will help you as you uh, keep working your way through this semester. So to begin with, a little about myself. First, my name is Charles Ardinger. Hello. And I've been working here at Coastline College since 2013 in the English department uh, as first a tutor and then an instructor. Um, I really enjoy this job. And in particular, I enjoy English grammar. I consider myself an expert on that subject. I like to talk about English grammar. I love to answer questions about it. So if you have any questions about grammar, or indeed about anything, uh, I will remind you that you have my email address. And you can ask me a question about anything whenever you like, and I will respond. So that's a little about me. Let's uh, take a look at our class and take a look at some of the aspects that might interest you of that. So this is the front page or home page for our class. As you can see, we're here in Freshman Composition English 100. Um, I'd like to show you some aspects of the class that you can get to from this front page that will help you as we continue. The first thing that I'd like to show you is this schedule. Down the center of the page and over here to the right side of the page, you'll notice that there are events scheduled. There are um, assignments, discussions, and quizzes that have due dates. And they are arranged here by those dates. So you'll see that uh, on June 15th you'll have this discussion that you'll have due. Then on the 16th, an assignment and a quiz and your student learning contract, and so on. What this means is that anytime you don't really know what you should be doing, you can simply look at the front page here, and knowing the date will tell you what you should be working on. This will help you organize your time in our class, and my experience tells me that in an online class, time management is very important. So this is a way that you can help yourself by just looking at the front page of our class. Also, I will every once or twice a week make announcements, which you will see again at the top of our front page. The way to read those announcements is to find the title of the announcement and click on it which will lead you to a page that looks like this. On this page is the complete announcement that you can pause and read at your leisure if you like, or, you know, just read it as you start class. It will still be there. And what this sample announcement says is what I'm about to tell you. I will make one or two of these announcements per week, and these announcements will generally concentrate on issues of grammar, or something I've seen in the class that I think is worth commenting on, or something I've seen outside of the class that I think will help uh, make sense of what's going on in the class. I won't quiz you on the material in these announcements, but I do strongly believe that reading them and thinking about what you see in the announcements will help you as a student in this class and as a writer in your other classes. So keep an eye out for those. That's a way that I will communicate with you uh, regularly. Another way that I will communicate regularly with you is through your grades. For each assignment, I will be making a comment, and these comments will give you advice or feedback or suggestions about what to do as we continue. The best way to see this feedback is to go to this link here, grades and click it which will take you to a page that looks like this here you will see a list of your assignments by title and by date and the ones that are complete will have grades so to see those grades to see those comments 
click on the name of the assignment, which will lead you to a page that looks like this. You see here that there is a comment. I will make comments like this on all of your assignments. I will be giving you feedback in the form of these comments. Uh, in these comments, as I said, I'll give you advice on how to proceed with future assignments. I'll give you um, my response as a reader to what you've written. I can tell you whether it makes sense to me or whether it doesn't. I can tell you why. Um, what I see might not mean what you think it means. That sort of thing. Also, I grade each assignment using a rubric. A rubric is a list of criteria, a list of things that I expect, and points uh, aligned with how well the work meets those expectations. So a rubric looks like this. It's a chart. Each of your assignments will have a rubric like this, and each of these rubrics will have squares marked to explain why I gave certain amounts of points. For instance, uh, this assignment got five points because uh, it follows the pattern that we'll be talking about. It follows the sentence, uh, the outline structure that we'll be talking about. But it doesn't quite meet the word count that the first assignment is looking for, so it loses some points. Looking at the rubric in this way can help you understand why your work got the score it got, and if you want to talk about it, again, you can email me and we can discuss um, what I was thinking as I was reading your assignment. So let's make this rubric go away again by pressing this X. And finally, we can look at this link that says View Feedback. Clicking this link will produce a smaller copy of your assignment. And I agree, this looks very small, but keep in mind that I'm using a small window for the recording uh, software I'm using, and so you will probably have an easier time seeing your work. You'll notice that in this um, feedback view, I've made what are called annotations. For instance, this text here is an annotation. It's as if I were writing in pen on the paper that you gave me, if this were an in-person class. These annotations will give you advice on uh, grammar, mostly. How a sentence can be made to look more academic as you keep writing. Sometimes, though, I'll have comments that will need more space than the space between these typed lines, and so I will make a highlighted annotation. This highlight here leads to this text that um, will tell you what I'm referring to here. This is a highlighted annotation. And these annotations, along with the comments I make and what you see in the rubric, will help these assignments not only get you good grades, but also... Um, understand more of what we're talking about in this class. It's a way for the practice you're doing to be more effective for you. So I will communicate with you through announcements and I will communicate with you through feedback, but there is another way that I will be communicating with you at your choice throughout the semester. These online classes tend to be kind of impersonal. You're far away from me in space, and probably also pretty far away from me in time. You're not seeing this at the same time that I'm saying it, for instance. So, to make our connection a little closer, I've established a student visiting time, what you might think of as my office hours. If this were an in-person class, I might have an office that you could go to and visit me at certain times, and we could chat. Here, because this is an online class, we have a Zoom meeting. I will be in my Zoom office every Thursday between 1830 and 2000 hours, or, if you don't like military time, 630 and 8 p.m. Pacific time. Um, this is a voluntary opportunity for you to join me. 
and have a conversation. We can chat about what's going on in class, um, any issues you might have with your assignments or with the instructions that you see or with the lectures that you read, um, or anything that you see outside of class that you might think is interesting, or, you know, um, whatever people converse about. This is an opportunity for you to make a connection with me as a person and an opportunity for me to make a connection with you as a person, which I think is important in these online classes. To join my Zoom office, simply follow this link. That will take you to um, my Zoom uh, meeting, which is always on. And we will, uh, on Thursdays, converse. As you will read in the syllabus, you can get extra credit for these meetings. So this is another opportunity for you to take advantage of um, my time, which is what I'm here for. And finally, I would like to point out these optional grammar refresher modules that I have links to here on the front page. These are little modules with lectures and self-guided uh, tests that you can use if you're looking for some grammar advice. Um, if you have questions, of course, you can always email me. But you can also use these modules to um, give yourself refreshment in uh, grammar study. So that if you see a lot of issues in your assignments, if you see a lot of annotations that I've made, uh, you can use these grammar refreshers to check yourself. I've got um, these particular subjects that you can see in front of you. If there are other subjects that you would like to suggest a refresher for, please let me know. Um, I don't know what subjects will give you the most help without your input. So I really rely on that. And those are the aspects of the class that I think need special attention um, and introduction. I'd like to finish this brief presentation by thanking you. Thank you very much for enrolling in this class. Uh, without a student, there would be no need for a class and then no job for me. So I appreciate your continuing to help me stay employed. Um, also, I'm hoping that you will continue to ask questions as we proceed. You have my email address. You know my office hours for student visiting time. I'm hoping very much that you'll take advantage of those to ask questions about anything you see that doesn't make sense. Because I've thought about this all in advance, I know pretty well what I mean, but I don't always know that I'm not making sense to someone who isn't me, and that is why I rely on questions from you to help me make this class better, to help make it more clear to all the students. And uh, with that, I would like to say thank you for your time and attention.